given that you are a Democrat. Yes. Running for president. Yes. On the Democratic ticket. Yes. And there is a Democratic incumbent. Yes. That implies to me that you must think that you could do a better job in some respects than yes. President Biden. Yes. Now, we can acknowledge some legislative wins. Yeah. Um, CHIPS Act, Infrastructure, the Inflation Act, which was kind of a climate change act uh, or bill. Um, where has he done all right? And where do you think you can do better? He's taking an incremental approach to ameliorating the economic stress of many millions of people. But I agree with Eleanor uh, Roosevelt when she said to her husband, the amelioration of stress is not enough. We need fundamental economic reform. He represents the corporatist democratic elite who basically say, you know, we know it's kind of tough for you living within this economically unjust system. So we'll do what we can to help you on the periphery. My belief is that the Democratic Party should be doing everything possible to end the injustice. And in that sense, I'm a Roosevelt Democrat. You know, uh, there's a lot of talk about his being kind of Rooseveltian. I don't think he's Rooseveltian at all. Roosevelt went in there and he said the uh, powers of government should be used in service to the people. And uh, Biden continues really the we can have it both ways trajectory that began really with Bill Clinton. Mm -hmm. We're gonna play with the big boys, uh, but we're gonna to try to help people too. And there's at a certain point where the only way you can really help people, given how far the, the angle of just, justice has tilted away from true justice for the, African, for the average American, the only way to do that is if you're willing to challenge those corporate forces that make the return of their pain always inevitable. And he is not willing to do that. You mentioned a, a couple of minutes ago that, you know, there were healthy green investments in the Inflation Reduction Act. Well, you're right, but it's a kind of purse thief type of uh, activity here. Oh, look, we've, uh, we've put all these healthy green investments in the Inflation Reduction Act. Yeah. You also approved the Willow Project, right. which completely nullify any of the benefits in those uh, green investments. And also you gave more oil drilling permits than even Trump did. So he'll say things like he's the climate president and he realizes climate is um, an existential threat. If you really believe that, you don't ramp up fossil fuel extraction, you ramp down fossil fuel extraction. And that's pretty true across the board. Yeah. Strangely, it feels like the Republicans and conservatives now have a monopoly on populism. Yeah. How did that happen? And how can you win back that message? Well, there are two different questions here. The way it happened is very odd, isn't it? The Republicans, in fact, have the elitists, not the populist policies, but they have a strangely more egalitarian way of dealing with their own constituency. Mm. The Democrats are the opposite. They do, at least more than the Republicans, usually have the more egalitarian policies, but a more paternalistic, arrogant, and elitist way of dealing with their own constituency. People don't like to feel looked down on. And if you make them feel looked down on, then even if you are serving their economic interests, they they feel patronized mm. and they won't necessarily vote for you. It's an attitude thing. They think it's more of a message thing. I think it's an attitude thing. And quite frankly, it's a policy thing. If you really are there for the average American, stop piddling around the edges. Stand for universal health care already. If you really care about the average American, stand for tuition-free college and tech schools at public colleges and universities already. If you really stand for the average American, provide for health care. Excuse me, provide for uh, child care. Give paid family leave, guaranteed housing, guaranteed sick pay, guaranteed living wage. It's always wait till next time. It's always just help us get more people, elect more Democrats, and we will get there. People are tired of hearing of it. And I think definitely younger people are tired of hearing it because younger people don't have an institutional memory of a time when there was any basis for trusting that they even meant these things. <laughs>